This is how you know she wasn't jumping, she wasn't juking on another Johnson in a long time. What's good with y'all, man? Listen up, bro. This is how you can tell she ain't been with another dude in a minute, okay? Another guy has not been entering and crushing those guts, okay? It's been a while. The goal of this, guys, is simply in the beginning process when you're talking to a woman, okay? You are vetting them. Understand this, fellas. You are vetting them, all right? You got to know what you're dealing with. Typically, women are going to tell you, see, when you get to breaking down to, oh, yeah, I don't really hook up this quick. So you might meet a chick. Sometimes they might be with the one night stand. Sometimes they might not be with it. Guess what? You need to understand that usually most of the time there's a guy that's already been in the picture clapping cheeks. Women cannot be alone. Okay. They cannot be alone too long without male attention. And eventually that leads to what? That leads to him getting inside. Okay. Clear cut proof. That's just what it is. I'm just telling you the truth. But what you can do, right? Because guys, when you're talking to a chick in the beginning, you need to you need to lay down the foundation. At the same time, you need to be in the process of uncovering these truths. Okay, hopefully they're being real with you, bro. But it's funny because every single time a chick is usually it's like why every time a chick go into this, they usually saying. Oh, it's been two months since I've last had sex. It's been it's been three months. I hear two to three months all the time. That's the most common thing I hear. Right. They always want to portray this image like they are this good girl. Now, I'm not denying that on rare occasion that sometimes it can be true. But I'm telling you right now, most of the time they lying. And that's really what we're after here. We're after uncovering the truth from them. It's not so much about really hasn't been two months. It's really about whatever they told you. Can we gauge the truth behind it? And how willing is she going to be to lie about the minuscule things? If you know that she can say that, but then at the same time, you uncover something later, like, oh, she lied about and it's a lot smaller deal. Then you know that the chances are the odds are that she lied about that, too. All right. So what you want to make sure from the jump is she's not dealing with another man currently at the time that you start to talk to her at the time that you enter the guts you need to know whether or not you are the only man now and when was the last man and here's how you put it to them guys here's how you get rid of this stuff because you're concerned with whether or not she has lingering feelings you put it to her like this hey baby you know i'm not sure if you've had a, a past ex or somebody you haven't gotten over I just want to make sure. See, they throw it in our face. Are you single, single? And what that means is, are you talking to somebody? So we throw the same thing in their face. It ain't about insecurity. It's just about knowing who you're dealing with because you are a valuable man and you don't need to be wasting your time. OK, that's how you put it to the women. See, right then and there, you're laying the foundation. You're trying to gauge them and their truthfulness as to what they're going to respond to. OK, so if she responds like, well, you know. You know, and let's say you didn't clap on the first nine either. Let's say you you went on one date or something, then you smashed. I mean, that's still kind of the same thing. But let's just give them the benefit of the doubt this time, because maybe you were that guy. I want to speak positive on you as you being that guy, as you being a guy that, hey, you know, these women really want and these women gravitating towards. Right. So if you're this kind of guy, what does it look like if a chick is like, you know what? I haven't talked to another man. You know, I'm not caught up on another man. It looks like that's a chick that's ready to receive Yo Johnson. It looks like that's a chick ready to receive you and an interaction, a genuine relation. I'm not saying you got to go to wife in this chick, but this has got to be the first step regardless. You need to know that you can trust this chick. If you going to start raw dogging, I don't know what you finna start doing, bro. It's up to you as a man. I hope you use protection, but typically if you go into comfortableness with a woman yeah a lot of times that ends up happening and you just want to be able to trust her as far as not bringing you no damn diseases and not going behind your back on some untrustworthy stuff a woman's goal is going to always be to get exclusive and if she's not trying to go there fellas i do not suggest you taking her seriously at all you better not even be thinking about taking her seriously okay if she is over the exes. If she doesn't have a situationship with a man, you uncover this. 
Okay, if it's when's the last time you had one, that's what you want to ask next. And that'll give you a gauge as to when's the last time she had another guy and she was hooking up with. Okay, all we want to make sure is going forward. It's none of that. Okay, you're laying the foundation this way. This is the only way you can get something even relatively real of whatever is left of real with the modern woman, guys. I'm being real with you. Your vetting process has to be thorough. And this is going to be the first step at the very least when you start to actually hook up with a chick or said woman or whatever chicks you got in your rotation. Don't matter. You got to make sure she ain't on no dumb shit at the very least. Further than that, when you get to her place, OK, we all know the routine check that I explained a few times but I'm going to say it again. You want to check certain things, OK, because typically if a chick is really involved and has a guy there, you're going to notice even certain things in her bathroom. OK, does she have a male's body wash? Right. Male uh, deodorant. A fucking like male products. You know what I'm saying? Male hygiene products. Is it more than one toothbrush? Right. If she lives alone, she has her own place. More than one toothbrush. So somebody is frequently here. Those are signs of a guy that's spending the night over there often. Oh, he comes through to plow guts to the point where he be hopping in the shower. He got a body wash here. He got a toothbrush there type stuff. That's a guy. Oh, she got a guy. She got some guy in those guts. Another thing you want to do, guys, and I'm not hinting at insecurity with this. It's good to be cognizant of tactics women use. That's why I really suggest you go to their place, bro. Check her medicine cabinet. Check under the cabinet. If she, if she has like plan B's on deck, if she has condoms on deck, like check the trash can. It's a used condom in there. It's a condom wrapper in there. You already know what the deal is. She's not like, like it ain't like she was playing with herself or had a little vibrator on the side real quick. Women gonna have that. Okay, and further than that, let's say that you have been hooking up with her consistently, right? And it's been a little time since you've seen her. Now, you can typically tell if another man has been there by the energy. I'm gonna be real with you. First and foremost, you can tell if a room smell like sex. You can tell if a room smell like, you know, a dude was just here. A dude was just in them guts. It smelled like, it smelled like booty. It smelled like booty in here. It smelled like it really got the juicy, the juice aromas in the air. Like you can tell if she had sex in there and it obviously wasn't you. It was somebody else. You can tell if it's a man smelling here and it wasn't you. You know that. Right. You can tell the energy, the vibe. You, you got to be tapped in with yourself to really be cognizant of it. There will be shifts in her demeanor, too. If you notice subtle changes in her habits and stuff, she's staying late at work. You know, uh, other times where she used to hit you up routine it's switched. And it's not because it's literally something that she's added to her schedule. It's literally just out of, out of nowhere. It's random. Right. Or maybe she isn't picking up at the time that she usually would. Right. Why she putting her phone on silent if, you know, it's not routine for her, but she does it at this certain time at night now. Right. It's popping up randomly out of nowhere. You got to notice these certain different habits, man. And, you know, back to what I was saying before I veered off topic, bro. If she just had a man in there, like you can kind of tell, like if you get down to the nitty gritty. You know, as soon as you come into her, her place or y'all see each other and y'all start, you know, making out and, you know, you start filling up on her. She doing you the same and, you know, goes to the foreplay, goes to the action like that. You can kind of tell if you see that, you know, the clit all swollen and stuff and it, it's it, you get the you got the smell of it. it smells like it was already sex in the air and all that. Like you can tell that, OK, somebody was just here. Right. The. the the pussy ain't lying like like somebody was in these guts, okay? It got a, it got a nasty smell. I'm not going to get into all that because that will literally have me throwing up on this video and I ain't trying to do all that. Here's the deal. There are certain women that do this stuff. There are certain women that cycle in a, a multitude of men even in one day. And it's absolutely disgusting. I just want y'all to be on game. I don't want y'all being fooled, okay? I don't want the wool pulled over your eyes, Women do this kind of stuff. The modern woman does. That's not to say that your particular girl or this girl that you might want to talk to is doing that. But you want to see her level of hygiene. You want to see her level of, you know, her routine. And matter of fact, is she openly giving you this information, guys? Because it won't be uh, you won't be fighting tooth and nail to get this information out of them. Most of the time, they're just going to tell you. Most of the, I think every time a woman has told me, OK, yeah, I'm not talking to any other guys. 
it's been so and so months since I've even been, you know, had sex or whatever the case is. You're the only guy I'm talking to right now. You're the only guy I want to talk to. Those are good signs. So you want a girl telling you that kind of stuff. Then you can have a level of trust, right? If it checks out with her mentally, it checks out with her energy. When you show up, when y'all hit each other up, it's, it's, you know, it's coinciding, it's sinking. You're good, right? Don't stress it. Just let it be. But, you know, if it's not that, if that's not the case, if the energy is wishy-washy, she's hot and cold, you, it's never a schedule or, or it's never like a routine. It's always just sporadic. And, you know, she obviously doesn't claim you at all. If she's not trying to take it to exclusivity, you know that she's keeping her options open. You know what I'm saying? You know that there might be another guy in the picture and or she's trying to keep somebody on the back burner. We not entertaining that, fellas. I don't want you wasting your time. And or if you do know that and if you found that out through this process or how you've been vetting them and you say, OK, bet since she's doing that, I'm going to make sure to keep her in the fun zone. I'm keeping her for leisure. You've been disqualified from anything serious. And that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Disqualify them. You're not wife and material. Uh, you're not girlfriend material. You are just exclusive fun for me. And then you can go back to your, you know, keeping your options open. And I mean, you should anyway, you should, you should always be the best valuable person that you can be. And you, you'll naturally be attracting other women. Now you just wear that abundance on you and keep yourself open to them. Then now you don't have to feel bad. Some guys be feeling bad. Oh, well, she wants to be with me. If she's a good girl, she's a solid chick. Then I understand if she ain't brother, as far as I'm concerned, she is not nothing to be taken seriously unless she's proved it, unless she's shown it. So be careful about this stuff, man. Just be cognizant. Be smart about what you're doing. Don't be a fool. Y'all be easy.